This video is sponsored by Keen. You know, watching general readings on YouTube can be fun and insightful, but there's nothing like connecting with the right advisor and one that is actually tuned into your specific energy. So that's where Keen comes in. Keen has hundreds of gifted advisors online at any given time. And although, yeah, I'm one of them, it's really not about me. I want you to truly find the advisor that you connect to specifically because you know we all have different needs we all mesh with different people you know so what you may need could be different from me so i want you to take the opportunity that keen has been so graciously able to offer us which is five minutes for one dollar yep that's five minutes for one dollar um you can pick any advisor that's online and available keen actually offers a really unique experience where you can connect with the perfect advisor by taking a short quiz and seeing which advisor is your actual best match. You can pick an advisor based on the type of advisor you want. So if you want a medium, they got it. If you want a clairvoyant, they got it. If you want a tarot reader, they got it. <laughs> or you can even do it by a specific type of reading that you're looking for. So if you want a love reading, if you want a career reading, whatever you need, it's there for you. So all you got to do is click the link in the description below, which is going to be trykeen.com slash dapuniversal. That's trykeen.com slash dapuniversal to get that special offer of five minutes for just one dollar. And you won't be disappointed. There are some gifted people on there. So take the opportunity to click the link in the description for five whole minutes for one dollar at tryking.com slash dap universal. Thank you, King, for sponsoring the video. What up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, Dap Universal. I'm Dap. So we're not even going to talk about it. We're just going to get right on into it. So this is a reading, a love reading, if you will, a relationship, connection reading, if you will, about their the truth about their thoughts, how they feel, um, and where things are headed with your person. This could be a person from the past, a person that you're dealing with now, a person that you haven't met yet. I don't know. Put yourself where you fit in. Let me know in the comments where you fit in. Um, you're going to pick between these three cards. Yes, these are like kindergarten flashcards I'll, I'll you'll see what you'll see if you go to your reading you'll understand why i did it this way but um i'm gonna show you the piles like in a picture for you so you can really really see the cards um go ahead choose with your third eye not your first or second eye uh, make sure to uh, check out the description for the timestamps for your reading you're gonna pick your corresponding reading in the timestamps in the description or the pinned comment below. Like the video if you haven't already, get it in the algorithm. And also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We have fun. Um, I go live every single day, by the way. But um, that's all I got for you. I don't want to bore you to death. I will see you over there at your reading. Bye for now. What up, pal number one? And if you chose the strawberries, welcome to your reading. Um, on the truth about how they feel, their thoughts about you, where you're headed. I don't know where we're going. I have no idea, but I do know there's something special about this um, strawberry card. It's 11. Um, so my friend got me this book, and I wanted to use it, incorporate it into the reading some kind of way. So this was my method, these little kindergarten flashcards. So 11. I'm going to use this book called A Little Bit of Numerology. You know, just incorporate it. Why not? I'm going to read you what um, 11 or 2 um, is when it comes down to like maybe a personality of you, your partner, the relationship itself. Just put yourself where you fit in because I don't know what it's going to say because I haven't read it yet. I haven't read it. I didn't. I was like all on intuition today. You know? It'd be like that. That's a psychic sometimes. You just be doing stuff. But uh, yeah, okay. So the 11 or 2 because 11 is a master number, by the way. 11 is one of the most spiritual numbers you can have. Um, it's, it's an exalted version of the number 2, which is about empathy, um, co uh, duality, connection, relationships, life path number twos. If you're out there, this is going to resonate with you, whether you're born in February or November or born on the second or life path number two, this will probably make some sense to you because you have a lot of, of that number in your chart. But 11-2 um, is called the clenched fist. Now there's an unbalanced and there is no balanced version of this it, oh, for this number. So we're just going to go with whatever it, this is what it's like when it's unbalanced. 
Um, it says deep sensitivity, extremes, codependency, other people's needs and opinions are essential to a person carrying this vibration and more crucial to decision making than their own. This vibration creates a high demand for the approval of others, a vibration that will make it hard to let go of negative experiences and thoughts. A person that carries this vibration tends to cross, ignore, or be oblivious to personal boundaries. They often soothe and drown emotions with a range of dysfunctional and addictive behaviors like sex, shopping, food, drugs, exercise, control, work, TV, and codependency. It feels like there's a hole inside that can never be filled. The trouble you go through is rarely visible to others, but it fuels the sense of not feeling seen and heard for who you truly are. Things are taken personally beyond a reasonable scope, and it feels like life is one long test. The pleaser inklings that come from this vibration can cloud the mind and especially cloud the minds of people with life path number one, three, and nine and that have leadership as part of their life goals. It can make you shrink the fit within perceived confining structures. So trying to sometimes fit a square into a round hole just because it need, that's, what, that you need, that's what you need to be at any time. The chameleon um, is what it kind of says. Uh, it makes a lot of sense because number 11 is a master number, like I said. I said it's an exalted form of number two, but the master numbers also come with big challenges because they've done it before. Master number insinuates that you've moved on past all the one through nine. Now let's let's take it up a notch. You know, let's give you some a challenge to work with. And so although the, the master numbers come with a lot of gifts, they do come with um also a lot of challenge because, you know, the difficulty level here. <laughs> you've already you've already done it before. Your soul just wants to grow. But let's talk about this person. Like I said, put yourself where you fit in. That could be that, that could describe them, you, or the relationship itself. Take what you need out of this. Like I said, use your psychic gifts. You have them. Use your intuition. You have them. We are both connected right now. You know. Uh, the truth is, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Player, player, player. Okay. Uh, maybe not always is a player, but also the Ten of Cups. It may not just be a player. We'll get into it. How do they feel about you? Only all the cards down first for some reason for your pile. How do they feel about you? All right, we have the Seven of Cups. All right. What can you expect moving forward? What can you expect moving forward? Pile number one. We have the Page of Swords in reverse. And it must be clarified by the Eight of Wands. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You may have met at work. I don't know. You may have met at work or something about work kind of comes up. Like, I don't know if you met this person at their job or they met you at your job or something like that. The Knight of Pentacles kind of insinuates something about the importance of someone's job. Someone may also have, um, I don't know, just something about work. Just something about work. And as for some people, it doesn't have to be. Um, it could also just be saying like this person's a Virgo or you're a Virgo. Or you met them around Virgo season. Um, maybe you met in uh, like a September one year. Like it's something like that. Um, but the truth of the connection, don't want to waste too much time on that. The, the truth of the connection from their perspective is the Knight of Cups in reverse with the Ten of Cups. They're a true romantic. I feel like this person may be a hopeless romantic to their own detriment, though, a little bit. Because um, I see a lot of Pisces energy. Um, the, the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Cups in reverse is, is, bo is both Pisces energy of light, maybe idealizing. The Knight of Cups in reverse is somebody who is like a hopeless romantic. Like, they will sweet talk you. They will, they will woo you. They will wine you, dine you, all of that. Lay it on extra heavy, thick. Make you feel like you ain't never been loved before. And then... The next morning when the sun is peeping through the, you know, through through the through the blinds, hitting you right in the face, you waking up, you you know, y'all cuddle up next to the person. They look at you confused, like, why are you still here? Type of energy, like, what? <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like, and it's not that they didn't mean all of that, like all the, the, the love bombing and the showering of the attention. It's not that they didn't mean it. They meant it in the moment, but like. They change their minds real quick. It's like they, they snap out of it real quick, it seems. And that's the energy that it gives. It gives someone who is like, they, they fall in love with falling in love. You know? They fall in falling in love. But I, I don't think they have bad intentions, though. I don't think they have bad intentions. Let's clarify that. Um, the Hermit. 
And they may, it's like, they may also be someone who hates being single. There's something about, like, one of y'all, like, hate it being single, the other one is mostly single. Like, usually single. Like, type shit. It's like y'all attract to each other. Um, how do you feel about using the Seven of Cups? That's interesting. Clarified by the Three of Cups in reverse. They feel like you have options. They feel like you have options and the Ace of Cups in reverse as well. So, especially if, like, I don't know if y'all are still, like, dating with someone from the past. They feel like you have options. They feel like, um, you, like... <laughs> Why am I hearing that stupid? They say he, he say he's just a friend. The three of cups in reverse. They felt jealous of your friends. Like you had like say same sex friends. I mean opposite sex friends or something like that. I don't know. They did not like it. You can't play this song. That's copyrighted. Stop it. I'm sorry. <laughs> they almost I almost got cut off. <laughs> like you can't play that. <sighs> but I feel like with the Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups in reverse, they also feel like maybe your friends may have gotten in the way. Your friends may have been like, uh-uh, this that's a scrub. What are you thinking? Bottom of the barrel, who is that? I don't want to see you with that. Like, it, your friend, they may have felt like your friends did not like them, and they may not have. It's like, I don't like them. So, you know, whatever. But, like, they may have, just because, like, your friends may not have liked them or didn't vibe, they may feel like, oh, they, they fill your head with all this BS, and now you don't want to be with me type of stuff. Or, you may, or they make it hard for you to because they don't think you think for yourself or something like you need your friends to like hey what like what am i gonna eat for breakfast today like type shit. i don't know but it's like they feel like there was outside influences influencing the relationship or you may you may have felt that, like that about them like you may have been like your friends or something like that like get in the way of our relationship i don't know put yourself where you fit in but what you can expect moving forward i see the eight of wands and the page of swords in reverse you're gonna find out something they said i don't know it's like there's gossip around y'all it is gossip. The, the Page of Swords in reverse is actual gossip. Or also, it can be somebody who is snooping, trying to find something like text messages. So it could be stupid through someone's text messages. It could be you or them. I don't know. Don't be going through people's phones if you don't pay their bills. If you don't pay that bill, don't go through that phone. You may find some stuff. And ain't. It, hey, if you go looking, you could have been... I'm just saying, don't do it unless you're real ready. <laughs> and it's a, it goes back to that thing about boundaries. That, like the book said, that's really crossing the boundary. Don't do that. But I do feel like some of y'all may be going, y'all may be go, y'all go through that phone. Y'all gonna find some something that you don't want to see. And I'm just warning you, don't do it. Have a conversation first. <laughs> For other people, there's some gossip around the relationship itself, maybe from those friends or whatever. And uh, there's some things that may come to light about that that may affect it. It's real cryptic. But anyway, um, sound off in the comments let me know how this resonated. If this resonated, remember, guys, you can definitely take advantage of the generous offer that Keen has given us. Thank you for sponsoring the video. You get five free minutes with an advisor on their website for one dollar. Yes, use my code and tell them that Dap sent you. And remember, guys, if you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings in all we do. Bye. <laughs>what well, up pile number two if you chose the light bulbs welcome to your reading on uh the truth about them um the truth about how they feel about this connection their thoughts and feelings about you what you can expect moving forward just a real simple little connection reading um the, the thing that's special about this light bulb card though is the number 25 we're gonna be i'm gonna read you something out of this book that a friend had given me it's called a little book of a little bit of numerology and i'm gonna read you what uh the number 25 seven means it's a seven in, in numerology we don't go past uh nine we don't do really do, do, do that we don't really do double digits unless it's like 11 or 22 or whatever but um two plus five is seven so we're gonna look at that so this may be um this may hit harder if you are a life path number seven if you know numerology born on the seventh of the month but um it may talk about your person it may talk about you or just your relationship in general. I don't know. I haven't read it. <laughs> just to be, a, to be fair, I haven't read it. I, I'm like, full intuition today. Just just doing shit. I mean, just doing stuff. Yeah. But um, number 59. I'm sorry, number uh, 25. Seven is called responsibility. So when it's balanced, it's, it says closing the loop, dutiful, organized, responsible, sustainability, problem solver, balance, open spiritual channel that leads to a higher manifestation level you find that it's easy to make dreams and wishes come true innovate problem solving and creation are part of your mindset and it's easy for you to reach success you make responsibility beyond yourself and people you know people that know you um 
turn to you as you can see the next logical steps for yourself and others. Now, when it's unbalanced or imbalanced, it says perfection as a workaholic, struggle, martyr. From an early age, you have spent a lot of time in thought and contemplation. You have a sense of responsibility and duty that you took on before your young shoulders were ready. A little grown up. Accountability is now how you deal with life and you seem to have an endless to do and deal with list. You pick up the slack when others fall behind and it's hard for you to learn from your mistakes. You have a tendency to overwork and overstress. When creativity is used for material gain, the work becomes a duty and no fun. People depend on you and you always do your best to follow through. I love how that unbalance isn't the worst. That is, that doesn't sound that bad, you know? Oh, you're responsible. That's so like I said, they could they could talk about your person, it could talk about you or the nature of the relationship. Um, I can see how the relationship could feel like a chore, you know. I'm I'm getting that maybe it was a very mental connection too. Like maybe you're dating an intellectual, someone who just thought they were smarter than everybody. I don't know. Or maybe that's who you're dating now. I don't know. So let's pull a card and see what we can find out. What's the truth? We have the fool. This might be a new connection for somebody. This might be um it feels good. It feels excited. It feels almost like a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Clarify that we have the higher for Immerverse. And I feel like this may be something that's outside of your person's um, normal. Like you may not no fit this person's type is, or normal type. If they have a type, um, it's giving that. I, I, they could be a Taurus. I see Taurus energy, by the way. But you to them kind of gets them out of a stale place. I feel like they, I think you break the routine. I think that's kind of what it is to them. Uh, the king of wands, you, you, you give them some kind of confidence. So I think, I think they're really kind of um, maybe intellectual people. Or maybe they have it all put together or something like that, but they don't get out a lot. They don't have a lot of fun. I think you bring this sense of excitement or something to look forward to into the relationship. Like say, if they're going to see you for a night or they're going to see you um, for a date or something like that. They have, they're like, all day they're like, oh, that's gonna be so much fun. I, I can't wait to get off work or I can't wait to do this. So it's like, you give them that. Also, you do something to their ego. Uh, maybe you're really attractive. I don't know, but it, it, you give them like this, oh, you're kind of out of my league, but like, you make me feel good about myself because like, you're talking to me. So uh, it's like that. How they feel about you? Oh, uh, we have the high priestess. Get out of my head. <laughs> The sun in reverse. Okay. It's interesting. The three of cups. They see you as somebody who is very intuitive, but maybe also a little bit aloof about it. Hear me out. Or you act aloof about it. You, you act dumb about it sometimes. Like you'll, you'll say something or you'll notice something and you'll say something specific. Like just the words that you use or whatever. It may hit them like, a, how'd you know that? Or like, why'd you say it like that? And it makes them feel closer to you. Like, almost like, it's like soulmated energy. It gives that, to be honest with you. It gives that. Um, if we even think about it, that seven, two plus five, it, seven is a spiritual number. Life path number seven is about um, ascending your soul to a higher spiritual nature through faith and belief. You know, and it's a lot of, a lot of times trials and tribulations as well is what, you, what gets you to that point. But um, seven is about that, you know? So... It, it gives me vibes of like this in being with this person may actually uh do a lot for your spiritual growth whether this is like a soulmate energy a soul tie whether it's you know whatever it is it, whether it's gonna be a hard lesson or easy lesson that's i mean that's always up to you there's no faded that's not faded i feel like when it comes down to soulmates i say this a lot of times but if, in case you missed it when it comes down to soulmates for me or to me I, I think it is faded for us to meet certain people i do think we have like these soul contracts that that you know, you, you find yourself at the right place at the right time and this person pops up and this is what it is. You're meant to meet them. There's no way around it. They're in your life. Um, but now how that goes, whether it's to marriage or, you know, to hell, <laughs> it, re realistically speaking, it's up to us. It's based on our own choices. That's what karma is. Karma's consequence is not, when people say karma, it's not necessarily punishment or reward. It's just consequence because you did this now you get that like a plus b equals c this is how we got here but anyway i digress um this person may feel like it's very like a spiritual connection is what i was getting at and they feel like that you're very spiritual and very intuitive but you may not necessarily 
know how intuitive it to come across to them like because like even as an intuitive person sometimes we do say stuff like as a psychic I, I i'll say something to somebody and i'm not really realizing that my words are hitting them like in a certain light just in the neck you know sometimes i'm like i didn't i didn't know like i just feel like that was the right thing to say i said it and then you know i didn't know he's gonna have a reaction to it so it's like it's coming across as that and they see you as someone who's very friendly they hope that you don't friend zone them though. It's like, don't friend zone me. It's like, they, they enjoy your company. So this is like a new connection or this may be something that you may meet if this isn't resonating just yet. Um, if, if this feels fun, it feels nice. It feels like a good time. What can you expect moving forward? All right, we have the 10 of wands in reverse. Someone to help. <laughs> I need somebody. The 10 of swords. Oh, we can go a lot of different ways. And the star. For some of y'all, it's gonna it's gonna be fast as lightning, you know? And for others, it may go it may go the distance. It's a mixed bag, because this is a, a general reading. Book a personal reading if you want to know, you know, some deeper. But the Ten of Wands in reverse is like saying, on one hand, for some of y'all, it's like, oh my god, I can let go of a lot of I, I have someone to share my worries with. I have someone who can share the load with me. I have somebody who can walk this journey with me hand in hand and I feel like I can breathe again. You can let these, this, this, all this stuff go, right? But on the other hand, some of y'all may realize that you're not ready for a relationship or maybe the partner will because of how y'all react to the triggers and you will be triggered. Like whether it's a good relationship or bad relationship, you will have moments where you don't trigger each other. You're gonna get each other's nerves. You're going, there's gonna be some kind of conflict because that's how we grow. Conflict isn't bad, it's how we deal with it. That could be bad and that may be the case for some of y'all. It depends on where you are in your journey and on your path. But with that being said, sound off in the comments. Let me know how this resonated. If this resonated, um, personal readings, doing them. Also, you can can definitely uh, check out the deal that Keen has given us because they're sponsoring this video. Thanks again, Keen. Um, you can get five minutes with any advisor on uh, the website for one dollar. So get into it. Get you a reading. Use the code. Let them know Dap sent you. But uh, until next time, guys, remember, if you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings in all we do. Bye. Dun, dun, dun. What up, pile number three, if you chose the leaves. Welcome to your reading um, on their truth their thoughts their feelings about you what you can expect moving forward now something special about this card is the number 17 <clears throat> doing something different switching it up a little bit a friend got me this book called a little bit of numerology um we are going to look at what 17 or 8 in numerology uh could be kind of representing in your relationship or this person that we're talking about because this is a you know a love reading so it could be you. I don't know what it's going to say. I haven't read it. So it could be you. It could be your person or the relationship. Just take what you need. Just take what you need and go from there. Okay. So we're going to start the reading off of this before we get into the cards. So um, 17, 8. So this is called the Star of Magic. And it gives you when it's balanced and unbalanced. So you can put yourself where you fit in. So when it's balanced, it's fame, spotlight. Everything you do has your mark on it. A vibration that promises fame and being remembered beyond your lifetime, overcoming the odds. There's a fun and showy side to you and you love the attention. You have a deep spiritual streak and you seem to be above the troubled waters. Everything you encounter adds to your wisdom. The spotlight always finds you. Challenges lead to spiritual growth. Now when it's imbalanced or unbalanced, it says notoriety. A deer caught in the headlights, you become the unwilling center of attention. Stories about you will not die down. Being in the spotlight makes you ambivalent. Everything in your life is a hurdle that you need to deal with and overcome. You get the blame for things you didn't do. Being closed off for the messages from the other side leads to a simplified mindset. You don't want to deal with the nuances. You put other people on pedestals, which creates distance. And this is a vibration that always unfortunate for the life path numbers four. Okay, so if you're a life path number four, that hits even harder. <laughs> so, um, like I said, put yourself where you fit in, whether this is you, them, the relationship itself, use your intuition. When we are connecting in, with tarot readings, even if it's on YouTube, even if it's a general reading, you're using your intuition, you're using your, um, you're using your intuition, you're using your own psychic gifts, because you do have them, everyone has them. 
um, because we're in the collective consciousness right now. So you were brought to this video for a reason, basically. This is your reading. So what's the truth? We have the sun in reverse. You're dealing with a selfish ass person. So this may be someone who loves the attention, right? This may be someone who really does um, need some kind of outside validation, whether they want to act like it or not. They may kind of step in like, I don't really care. I know I'm confident. I'm calm, cool. It's like they may oversell it. You know what I'm saying? You know, someone who is like confident versus someone who is like fake confident. I feel like the confident person is just kind of chill. You know, like you, you can just tell, you get the vibes. That fake confidence is that person who has to like, they have to not only like show you how much they are confident by telling you they're confident, but they also have to overcompensate with everything they do to be the best. It's like, you can tell like, baby, you're insecure. They give off that. They give off very much like, I care what people think. And it's selfish. They could also be someone who doesn't really understand. They not. They may not be very self-aware or self, um, yeah, I'm gonna say that self-aware. They may, they may look at their lives as like something completely different than how everybody else sees them. You know, like they may see themselves as really something else. <laughs> like, you know, there's a lack of self-awareness. They may think everyone cares about the shit they care about. It, it can be just that simple. It's giving almost kind of like, a little narcissistic i'm not gonna say narcissist because i don't know but um it is giving narcissistic um the seven of pentacles comes up um also this may be somebody who has a lot of patience not in that not not in that loving way of like you know if you're having a hard day we'll work through it it's not that they have a lot of patience for getting what they want like they play the long game so they're i feel like these this this is not a <laughs> all this is a lovey dovey pal um it's saying like this person if they want something, they can play the long game. They, they can manipulate for a long time. They can wear that mask, and they're really good at, at, at showing a certain side of themselves um, or showing the side that they only want you to see. So it's giving a little bit a uh, master manipulator. But how do they feel about you? By the way, they could be a Leo or an Aquarius. Uh, how do they feel about you? The stars, I say that, Leo or Aquarius. So uh, the star is Aquarius. The sun is Leo. Um, it could also mean something else. Uh, Aquarius and Leo are opposites on the zodiac wheel. So whenever I see that, like in astrology, even if it's just some bot, like you don't have to be an Aquarius, you don't, have, and they don't have to be like a Leo or whatever. If you were, they would make a lot of sense. But the opposite signs makes me think of like yin yang, like soul mated energy, that kind of thing. So they might be karmic partners or something because the sun comes up in reverse, the stars up right. And if you think about it, the sun is a star, right? It kind of makes sense. Like opposites aren't necessarily opposites. They actually have like a lot in common. The sun sees itself as the most important thing in our solar system because it is. But the star kind of says, but you're just a star like all the other ones. Like we, you know, we're suns. Like it doesn't matter. So it's that, it's that energy. Y'all are alike, but very different. The empath and the narcissist. It could be that. They see you as a little ball of light, though. They see themselves as the light. They are, they're, they're, I'm the, I'm the, the charming one. I'm the talented one. I'm the one that everyone wants to get to know. But they see you as this genuine light. And I think that kind of pisses them off a little bit. Like, I think you have this thing about you that you don't have to try. You just kind of have. And it's like that, that true bright light is going to outshine an artificial light bulb every time and that's kind of how they come across they come across as like something that like a ring light <laughs> you're actually like celestial light you know what i'm saying it's divine light and they can tell it because it's something that can't be faked they i think they fake it a lot it's something that can't be faked but they see that in you with the hermit you kind of march to, to the beat of your own drum i think that you're wiser than you give yourself credit for um, you don't put up with a whole lot. I think maybe if this is a person that you are seeing or like falling for, or just someone who's been in your, to me, it feels like someone who's in your past. Like this feels like someone you're probably not seeing anymore. You probably had to grow into yourself. The version of you are of who you are now probably came from this person or dealing with this person. And I think you're probably in a much better place. Um, moving forward though, what, what, what can we look forward to? The three of pentacles in reverse. I feel like you kind of go your separate ways or something. The eight of wands. Yeah. Um, I feel like you may actually, for some reason, for, some of y'all may keep in contact with this person for whatever reason, because maybe you have to. I don't know what that means. Like, hey, maybe if you have kids with this person or something, I don't know. Some For some reason, I'm here because maybe you have to. For some people, it's temporary. Like, if you had, like, if you're sharing a space or something like that. Um, so there's still communication there. I would still expect that. But I don't expect this to be cooperative. I don't know. Like, the Five of Swords in reverse. 
I see an apology for some reason. I don't. I guess it's from their end, maybe. I, I, I see an apology, but I also see still not cooperating. So it's bittersweet, but you still have to communicate. I don't know what that means. Sounds off in the comments. Let me know what that means. Um, if you want to book a personal reading, we sure can do that. I'm going to give it to you just like I give it to you just like this. Also, um, make sure to check out the sponsorship, the Keen sponsorship. Um, thank y'all for uh, sponsoring the video, by the way. If you want to get five minutes with any advisor on Keen.com, you can do that for $1. Mm -hmm. with my code so check that out but remember guys if you got spirit what spirit got you blessings and all we do bye mm -hmm.